Coach, we'll go ahead and get started with your thoughts. Uh, gritty game. You know, again, that's a, it's definitely a March game. Um, I felt like it was ebbs and flows. It was doom and gloom for our team early on. But, you know, credit this team. We've been battling back from deficits all year long. And, you know, they just did it again. So we got one more game to go. Questions for Coach Bishop as a student athletes? Daryl? It was it was a deja it was deja vu all over again, right? From the last game you guys played in Nagadocious. What has allowed this group to continually find you know fall behind and then find their way out of the holes and come out with wins? ACU that fourth quarter comeback comes to mind. Mm -hmm. um, tonight, the last time in Nagadocious, what has allowed this team to pull through in those spots, but where they find themselves double digits down early? and find a way to get it done. I just say two words, experience and poise. Um, we've been, like you said, a number of times we've been in those situations. I don't like it, uh, but we have, and we found ways to, to come back and get uh, get wins. And, you know, again, these two over here, they played a lot of college basketball games. They've won a lot of college basketball games, so they don't go away easy. And, uh, again, our team just keeps fighting. You know, I love the spirit, the competitive spirit that this group has and has shown throughout the year. And, you know, again, that's what we're going to need tomorrow. Coach, talk about the play of Trinity Moore picking up for Kirsten in the first half. Yeah, Trinity Moore came in, and, you know, I think she drew, drew four fouls. They stole the stat sheet away from me, so I can't tell. But I think she came in and just was able to rebound and, and solidify us on the inside. Um, and, you know, again, you, you said Trinity Moore. I also have to give E2 uh, a little bit of credit, too. You know, didn't play yesterday, um, but is ready to come in and, and fill in the minutes. And that's the great thing about this team. It could be anybody's day, anytime, uh, and they, they believe in that, and they believe in each other. Uh, I'll let either of you two answer it or tag team. Uh, what was the mindset going into the fourth quarter for you guys, and what was the message that you guys were getting across to your teammates? I think it was just um, staying under control, chipping away, staying together as a team. Uh, that was like most of the stuff that we were talking through. So. I'm pretty sure we were we were up in the, in the third, right? Mm -hmm. It was just finishing. You know, we had battle back uh, first quarter. Uh, we had like a like a really tough um, handsy second quarter. They they found a way to to get that done as well. So I just wanted to come in for the team specifically to just help finish, rebound, and carry this out. And we did a really good job at that. I'm so proud of my teammates. Kyle, Leonard, can you talk about the the momentum shifts in a women's basketball game with the quarter situation, the media timeouts, the fact that you can advance the ball late in the game? Just how those ebbs and flows play out in a women's basketball game, like you said. You got down early, couldn't hit a shot in the first quarter, then you guys get that break after the first quarter, boom, all of a sudden the basket opens up. Just talk about those ebbs and flows of a, of a basketball game. Yeah, I mean, and that's why, you know, he asked about um, – the, the belief in being able to come back, we understand that, you know, there's going to be a timeout, there's going to be a media, there's going to be an end of a quarter. And so now it's just like another reset or another uh, opportunity for us to be calm, collect ourselves, and then go back out there and execute. So um, credit to this group. They've been doing that all year long. You know, like you said, we couldn't hit water falling out of a boat in the first quarter. Three points, I think that might be a low for the year. Um, but, you know, again, credit to them. They came out, I believe we hit six threes in the second quarter. So, again, it's ebbs and flows, like you said, and we just stay consistent and stay at it. For coach and players, what was the conversation you guys had amongst yourselves in that quarter break between the first and the second? I'll let y'all go. <clears throat> it was a mindset thing. Obviously, you see the digits were down, what, 14 going into that second quarter. Determination. Like, we never give up. We've been down multiple, multiple times this year, and we've always found a way. Um, we've grown so much as a team, and I'm just – I don't know. I'm just so proud of us. Like we we haven't gave up, and we're going to continue to fight until the end. Ben, you go, Tosh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I just think from a strategic standpoint, you know, um, we were able to settle in. I talked about flowing into our offense a little bit more. I felt like we were a little bit too stagnant in the first quarter, which is allowing their pressure to get to us and dictate um, and push us away from the basket. Um, and so then we just kind of flowed into our offense, reset, and then we made some shots. And, you know, when you make shots, that gives you confidence on the defensive end that you can go out there and, and get stops. So uh, once we saw the ball go in the bucket and we were able to move our bodies around and get into a flow, then you saw us play at our best ladies um it seems like every time gcu and uh, sfa get together it's it's a physical 
physical basketball game. Just talk about how physical that game was compared to the other one, because that was pretty up there um, in terms of the encounters you guys have had over the last handful of years. Um, honestly, this game, we got way more calls than we did yesterday, <laughs> for being honest. Um, yesterday was, a like, a, a, I feel like more of a dog fight. We got absolutely nothing. And so I feel like this time, like, we really tried to finish through because, like, we, we really got our feel back from that first game. Like, they're not going to call anything or they, they might or might not. So we just made sure that we powered up and finished through everything and didn't leave anything on the court. Um, this one's directed to Tyler, and I know you're going to hate me. <laughs> for asking this, uh, but I just want you to process what you're feeling. Um, I know you're reacting maybe a little emotionally on stage. Uh, just process the emotions of this win for you and for the Lady Jacks. <sighs> Take your time. Take, Take your time. time. I mean, this year's just been really, uh, really difficult, a lot of adversity. So to be in the championship really means a lot. We've really been through ups, ups and downs, so I'm really thankful that we were able to come together and get this win, and I just feel like this means a lot more than the other years. It's been really difficult, so that's why I'm emotional, and this means a lot. So. We fought for this. Anything else for coaches and student-athletes? Please, no. Please. Thank you all so much. Best Thank of luck. Action Jacks. <laughs>